Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. My friend Kieran is here because we got to talk about G.I. Joe Ninja Force. Yeah, I've been really excited about doing this <laughs> for a while too, actually. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. This is uh, a, a special line of figures that started in 1992 and kind of petered out with the G.I. Joe line. Mm -hmm. They G.I. Joe was the biggest brand in the late 80s. And by the early 90s, something happened. And I don't think a G.I. Joe lost his magic. I just think there was new stuff that grabbed everyone's attention between Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, the X-Men toys. Yeah. Kids just moved on. And uh, the designers at Hasbro were grabbing at straws to for anything that might keep the kids interested. And the X-Men characters had action features. Mm -hmm. The Power Rangers were ninjas. The Ninja Turtles were ninjas and yep. neon colored. And so they just threw all that stuff at G.I. Joe to see what would stick. Well, the thing with me is uh, the Ninja Turtle figures are what got me into these. My cousin, uh, my older cousin, Sean, got me into these. And okay. he told me, oh, you should be playing with G.I. Joes. They're cooler. And they have a Ninja Force. And mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what a Ninja was. Okay. I just thought it was something that had to do with the Turtles. Gotcha. I didn't think it was uh, anything, you know... Uh, I didn't know what a ninja was until this, really. I guess this was my first real introduction to ninjas other than the Ninja Turtles. Because this is the most accurate depiction of ninjas ever. Yeah, that, yeah, forever. No other... Uh... <laughs> One of the ninjas' name is Bushido, which is the code of the samurai. <laughs> like, yeah. That's how accurate this and is. And there's also Nunchuck, who is uh, a guy named Ralph Baducci wow. from Brooklyn, uh, New York. <laughs> so, yeah. So the first wave of Ninja Force came out in 1992... It, it featured Storm Shadow, who had been a Cobra and became a Joe, as the mm -hmm. leader of Ninja Force, and they released several new ninja characters yeah. for Joe and two new ninjas for Cobra. Mm -hmm. And then they followed that, the success of that up in 1993, and they added more characters we knew, like Snake Eyes and Scarlet, and a whole bunch more ninjas we had never heard of before. Yeah. And uh, so we have a sampling of some of the toys here. Like, which guys did you have as a kid? Um, I started... The first one I had was Dojo. Okay. I got him... Uh, because they, that was, like, really... He was the only one you ever saw, usually, when you went. You saw, you know, Snake Eyes was always taken. So I had Dojo. Then I got Nunchuck, which is the guy right here in the green. Uh, my cousin had everybody. Nunchuck is, like, the most army of all of these Yeah, things. yeah, pretty much. I mean, he has, like, the camouflage and everything, yeah. like, the green camouflage and stuff. But I started with Dojo. I got Nunchuck. Uh, uh, TJ Bang, I like to call it, because I thought it was for all my entire life, It was, it, but it's Chabang, Ch -bang. which is really weird to me, uh, but I used to always call him TJ Bang. And then I always wanted Slice and Dice, they were, they're my favorites, I think they're, they're pretty cool, actually. Yeah, they're and really I always good. was like, I always kind of lean towards Cobra. Yeah. I have a, a, a Cobra tattoo. Oh, really? Yeah, on my arm right here, I have a... Wow. That's about it. I've That's the only tattoo I, I have. Yeah, yeah, it's the only one I have. That's cool. But uh, I was always a Cobra guy, and I always wanted um, Slice and Dice. I could never find them. I think the only Ninja Force figure I had was Snake Eyes. Yeah. And I got him at Ames. You remember that? Oh, yeah, Start I remember Ames. The day I was going to, like, the dentist in, like, fifth or sixth grade. Okay. We stopped by Ames. We had, like, all from school or something like that. My mom scheduled an appointment. We were running errands. And I picked up Snake Eyes. And he was the second to last G.I. Joe I ever bought, like, new. Mm-hmm. Because it was, you know, at the tail end of the line and I was yeah. kind of getting out of it. And, uh, I kept, I kept collecting stuff at flea markets and stuff, get the older things. Mm -hmm. But the new stuff just kind of wasn't capturing my, imagine, my imagination quite as much. But I, I did look at a lot of them. I thought it was neat. They reissued Scarlet, mm -hmm. although I didn't think the figure looked that good. Like, it was just kind of Yeah, weird. she's a little bit like, uh, wait, I think she's, uh, she's over here. She somewhere. suffers a there lot. There she is, yeah. She suffers a lot from having the, the gimmick in her hips. Yeah. Like, the figure doesn't have as good of articulation and things like that. It's just sort of a strange... The, the suit outfit. is also kind of goofy. Like, it's just something like, like the weird uh, gold, like, shoulder slash arm pads. Yeah. And, and the bright green, like, is just a little bit weird to me. I just, I, I never saw her until way later. I didn't even know there was a figure for her for the longest time. The only good thing, I think, is the head sculpt looks better than, yeah. like, the original Scarlet was a little... Yeah, it was just looking. very, like, boop. Like, it <laughs> looks like they took, like, no time to make yeah. her, and it's like there's no real detail on her face and, or anything. And this head has actual rooted hair, which they did on a few of these guys. Dojo yeah. had rooted hair, and... Um, Nunchuck has the cloth yeah. scarf going they, they on, but that's about it. They definitely built a lot of little gimmicks into the figure. And I also, I'm just going to say, too, I really like that, um... Uh, Chabang is Bang Joe because some of these are Spanish. Yeah, so uh, so we have we have an American carded Snake Eyes over there, but then a couple of these are the Spanish cards, and it's hilarious. Yeah, like it's, it's very similar in nature, 
Like yeah. the same type of, of promotional stuff, but everything's been translated, but it doesn't translate well because everything's yeah. like, branded. Well, that's stuff. the thing. Certain ones, like like you'll see Battle Wagon, and like here it's like Dragon Volador, yeah. which is like, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's just pretty funny. Also, like just reading the descriptions in Spanish, and it's all like, because they, you know, Luchador Literal. instead yeah, yeah. of like, uh, you know, Ninja Fighter or whatever, but like Luchador because it's like masked, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I these were actually my gateway into GI Joe. I didn't okay. have GI Joes until the first GI Joe I ever got was uh, Airborne that came with the backpack yeah, yeah, that opened up. Yeah. Okay. I had that one, and then I got all of these um, as they were coming out. I had Ninja Turtles first, and right. I got into GI Joe uh, and X Men and, and Power Rangers and everything. But GI Joe was something I followed way into the late ones. Like I started with this. I went to the Eco Fighters. The Star Brigade, the ones with the Play-Doh and everything, right, right. but these were my gateway you were, into it. You were really getting into it as I was getting yeah, out. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I also, to kind of go along with the weird packaging stuff we have here, I also have the Battle Axe, which came with Red Ninjas, and this is actually in Japanese. Oh, really? <laughs> the, the, the package, the, the file card. Oh, not, yeah, yeah. But like, like on the like front here now. Battle Axe, oh, yeah, Battle Axe, Ninja Rita. So uh, I, I was trying to get a Red Ninja for the longest time. He's actually one of the very last figures I needed for the G.I. Joe collection, and I was checking eBay over and over again, and at one time this popped up, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take it. What was this thing like in the commercial? It swung into yeah, something and hit something, and it exploded. The think, two of right? them, they, there's like a good guy one and a bad guy yeah, one. It's sort of like Rock'em right. Sock'em yeah. Robots. You, you spring wind them up, and mm -hmm. when they hit each other... They'll like fly yeah, off. Yeah, they like flies the guy off. Like if you just send it against other figures, it just destroys yeah, other figures. Because I've but... seen this at flea markets, but just the bottom part, right, like right. never with the top or whatever. But I never knew that this was a red ninja it, because I found one like late, just like my friend traded it to me when I was a kid, and I just thought it was dice. Well, I feel like on the back of the package, he's at least a little bit more red. He came out really pinkish yeah, orange. orange. The colors Where were pretty at? bonkers with a lot of these. There he is. Here, yeah, yeah. He came out really orange. -looking. It is like it's. He looks almost like a caution. You know what it is like too. Like the Alley Viper figure is like yeah. the same colors, where it was like bright orange. Really? And I was always like, you're supposed to be like an urban combat guy, but you're bright orange. Like, what are you <laughs> trying to fade into? You know, like I'm sure everybody can see them. There. The, the thing is, like, these are the most unstealth ninjas of all. Absolutely. Really, Night Creeper is bright purple and blue. Snake Eyes is really the only one that I can understand. Like, he's blue and black, and it's like he'd fade in. Uh. Storm Shadow is like white and black, but still like white, like bright. He at white. least is traditional, like for his yeah, character. Dojo is bright yellow and blue. blue. I mean, yeah, and then Nunchuck is is camouflage, but he would be like, I guess, like a jungle, jungle like in the jungle, jungle ninja. you know? Yeah, but then like every single other person is brightly colored. Uh, and then this is also we were talking about this earlier. It's not Storm Shadow, right? It's Ginsu. Ginsu, yeah. I <laughs> never joke knew on the knife that. company, yeah. But he's the other driver. He came with the the other version of the, oh, okay. The he's the good guy driver. Yeah, I never knew that he driver. wasn't Storm Shadow because it's Storm Shadow. Right, it's just a blue and orange and white Storm and Shadow. And in the in the modern era, when the they were releasing figures at Dollar General, mm -hmm. they actually did a wave where they did like normal colors, and then they did a repaint wave, and they repainted the Storm Shadow figure. To look like Ginsu. That's kind of like, cool. <laughs> but, but listed like as to, Storm yeah, to, yeah. Oh, he was okay. But it was just a fun way to. to I know that they released the ninety, movie. the ninety three Snake Eyes. I think the one with the yes. really big red eyes, and yeah. that was actually another. I love right. that figure too. That was a really fun one. Um, these were. I, I I don't know what it was about ninjas in the nineties, but this was just like the coolest thing I think they could have ever done. It was very like they 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 caught it at the perfect time absolutely getting into ninjas ninja turtles i mean wolverine yeah uh everyone you know everyone was doing ninjas and karate and martial arts and stuff was just that was early 90s it, it was had the to biggest been thing ever like the biggest time for martial arts after like the kung fu craze of the 70s yeah you know i definitely say, yeah because i mean the 80s started it there were like ninja movies and stuff like that but the the 90s was ninjas like everywhere. everywhere and it was probably because of the ninja turtles really probably. brought you into this and then you know gi joe which is had been going strong until probably ninja turtles right needed something and this i think was the best thing i could have done i love these figures i really like the stupid battle actions even though a lot of people like hate them now and they always break like you'll always find uh 
floppy arms, yeah, and dojos, and, and, and you stuff can't, like that. You can't take them apart and change the rubber bands yeah. in them because they, they don't have the screws anymore. The one thing that's weird about them, too, is their waists have, like, two like square pieces that come down that keep them they, rigid. They don't move the same way yeah, as the other Joes. They yeah. don't like uh every GI Joe's usually swivel a bit, but these stay completely still when you open them up, like I don't know why they did that. It was probably when you like lifted the arm, it would swivel and that's that it, like, was not it fun was to hard. play with. Yeah, so they had to come up with Engineering was like, oh we gotta do this. That makes sense, yeah, I didn't even think about that. So after two waves of these figures in nineteen ninety four, Hasbro decided to throw another gimmick into the mix, and they came out with the Shadow Ninjas, who have, um, what's the what's the phrasing, Inviso power. Yeah. And so on the end here, you can see all these guys that look sort of translucent. Mm -hmm. They all had a water change feature. You put them in cold water or warm water, and they would change from whatever color they were to like, like a white, yeah. sort of clear, invisible kind of thing. The downside of them was they were really fragile. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that plastic is super brittle. They, the thumbs break on them, their yep. weapons break real easy. Uh, but they they have these double down on the pink. Yeah. Let's make these cards super super garish looking. And they stopped doing unique card art, and they just put Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow on every yeah, package. Yeah, which is, I always thought was weird because when I got them as a kid, I I was like, oh cool, Snake Eyes yeah. and Storm Shadow in one package. I was like, oh, Night Creeper. And they uh, and they recolored everyone's art for the cross sell. Yeah. So it's not like it would have been that hard. No, I mean it's like because it, it's in there. I mean on the back and everything, yep. it shows each individual person. It just seems like they were like, ugh. Whatever. You don't feel like printing out individual ones. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow will sell it better. Yeah, pretty, yeah I mean, it, it did. But, because, I mean, who's going to who's gonna buy Night Creeper? Yeah, so they, they did Snake Eyes, cares? Storm Shadow, Bushido, which, was he the most popular guy from, um, from the Ninja Force line? I don't know. I had him, but why? I didn't, why? I thought he looked stupid. I never understood why they didn't keep the Slice and Dice there pairing is. together. Yeah. Slice and Dice was a cool team, and Slice... Was issued in 92, 93, and 94, mm -hmm. but DICE got, they stopped reissuing them, they yeah. just repainted them as Red, red Ninjas. I don't know, I, I I actually liked the both of them. I mean, I did like Slice better, I thought he looked cool because he had like the Kendo yeah, mask and stuff, but I loved uh, the knee pads on DICE. Yeah, he's got the giant knee pads, he's the first guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right here, yeah. yeah. He's got the giant knee pads, which were pretty cool. And I wonder if it was like the color or some weird gimmick that they decided, oh, he didn't sell well. Did they like, kill him off or something in the comics or something, and then they just decided maybe. not to? No, it is it, just kind of odd which which characters got to keep on living on. Yeah. So they had all these ridiculous things, and, and they, of course, every year they're planning the next year. Mm -hmm. So in 1994, before they knew G.I. Joe was dead, they had to start planning the 1995 year. And G.I. Joe was actually going to go back to its roots a lot. They were going to do this thing called Battle Rangers. They were going to reissue some of the best toys from the, the years gone by. They were going to do the tactical battle platform again and the hovercraft again, stuff cool. like that. But they were still doing the ninja gimmick, and they were going to put out a line called Ninja Commandos. Okay. Now, you would think that that line would feature Snake Eyes because he is literally a commando and a ninja. Yeah. But nope, they're dropping him. They're going to keep Storm Shadow. Uh huh. They're going to train uh, Flint to be a ninja. They're going to train Road Pig to be a ninja. <laughs> uh, they're going to add Obudo, the samurai, is going to become a ninja. I, could, I guess I could see, see that, that, but yeah. And then there's a new guy called Knockout. Him. And he never, well, he's never released. But Flint these, as a ninja, yeah. though, really. Like, so these were the five characters they were going to release. They, they, you know, tooled them up. They, they, they planned them all out, and then the line got canceled. Hmm. So those figures never got released. Some of those parts did eventually get out as other figures for other toy lines, but GI Joe brand itself was just dead, and uh, so we never, we never got the Ninja Command. So no Ninja Flint, unfortunately. Wasn't Robo uh, uh, Road Pig the guy who had a, a cinder block on, on a stand? handle? Yeah. yeah. So he's a master of stealth now. I guess <laughs> he's they needed this to giant teach him. bruiser. <laughs> it's like that's such a weird choice, and he's like instead of it being slice or dice. Did or, they uh, ever use him for any other? He line? was in another sub team. He was in Sonic was? Fighters. The guys with the backpacks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sonic Fighters. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I saw your video on that. I. I because uh, the, the, yeah, the yeah. re-release ones, I said I, I had the Lamprey one. He must have been. He must have just sold well. Because yeah. I, I, I honestly think, why do they pick which guys that got reissued? Well, it had to have been a figure was popular. So yeah. Road Pig must have been popular enough to get reissued once, and then he did well enough to reissue. So they're like, well, put him on another sub team, even if it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird though. I don't know. Some of these were just like like, and uh, I, I just want to bring this one up real quick because I, I put this one aside, but. Uh, some of the artwork for this is like weird, but like look at this, 
Look at this Zartan face. The master of Yeah, Yeah, I, I guess we'll have to get, like, a picture yeah, closer. Yeah, we'll get a close-up. But he looks like he's, like, drunk. Like, look at his face right there. <laughs> he has one eye... Like, he's supposed to be shooting an arrow, but he's looking in the completely wrong direction. One of his eyes is half-closed. His mouth is just like... Oh, he's like... Like, he's drunk <laughs> Zartan. I understand he, like, lives in the swamp and stuff like that, but, like... What is wrong with him? I hated this figure, too. How is this Ninja Force... Bright he's green a pants rocker. with purple and a and a and a leather vest, the chain around the shoulder, and a, and a bright orange mohawk with he, bright orange paint, and he's a ninja. He kind of looks like the the punk that gets turned into Bebop in the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why he's in the Ninja Force. He's Bebop. He's gonna fight the Ninja Turtles now. This is just so weird. Oh, and then here we go, the Battle Core. Yep. That's the one with the uh, Play Doh, right? No, the the Mega Marines. Battle Corps was That's just right. Battle Corps was, Battle Corps was standard GI Joe. They it? had yeah, and it was like uh, I remember I had uh, what's it? I had this one, this Doctor Mindbender, and I had Gung Ho. Yeah, yeah. And he had like the backwards cap with a weird thing. That's that came the Mega Marines one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That was so, weird. So that Mindbender was supposed to be part of Mega Marines, okay. and then they just put him in Battle Corps because they only did one wave of. Uh, oh, okay. There, there was a lot of Battle Corps figures that were supposed to be in other subsets, but they just sort of like. The gimmick didn't sell, so they mm -hmm. just said, okay, well, you're just a battle core guy that? Oh, is that the drug enforcement Drug elimination ones? Yeah, force. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. The drug elimination force, G.I. Joe's. Ronald Reagan needed that war on drugs. <sighs> yeah, right? And they were like, let's get on it. There we Literally go. Literally war <laughs> on drugs. G.I. Joe, Ninja Force. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these figures. I'm probably going to post some more in-depth reviews of some of the individual figures that I have that are complete, uh, sort of a follow-up to this. But I hope you enjoyed this overview. And Kieran, thanks for being on the channel. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. It's I was so much excited fun. about these. Yeah. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.